In this video, we will discuss orientation tolerances. Orientation is the angular relationship between two or more lines. Orientation tolerances control angularity, parallelism, and perpendicularity. The geometric characteristic for orientation is termed angularity. The reason for this is that each characteristic in this category considers two lines and the angle between them. Take, for instance, the orientation symbol for angularity. This symbol is used to describe the angular tolerance allowed for a feature in degrees. Then there is the perpendicularity symbol that is used to describe the perpendicularity of one feature to another. This symbol refers to features that reference a 90 degree relationship. And finally, parallelism refers to lines that are zero degrees from one another. An orientation tolerance indicates a relationship between two or more features. Whenever possible, the feature to which the controlled feature is related should be designated as a datum, like this one shown here. In this example, the angular orientation tolerance is being controlled by means of datum A. This orientation tolerance states, this angular feature must be 50 degrees and manufactured within 2 thou of datum A. Therefore, this tolerance zone, shown here in blue, must also be 50 degrees from datum A. Perpendicularity tolerance is the condition of a surface at 90 degrees to a datum plane. A perpendicularity tolerance for a flat surface specifies a tolerance zone defined by two parallel lines, shown here in blue, that are perpendicular to the datum plane, this, this line here as indicated by datum A. We understand this callout on this example as this surface must be held perpendicular to datum A within 2 thou. Parallelism is the condition of a surface that is equidistant at all points from a datum plane. A parallelism tolerance for a flat surface specifies a tolerance zone that is defined by two planes or two lines, shown here in blue, that are parallel to a datum plane, shown here as datum A. The line elements of the controlled surface must be within this parallel tolerance zone in order to achieve the tolerance.